Yeah, I want to make a strong recommendation on a phone for somebody who doesn't can't afford a smartphone. Actually, I got this phone years ago, and I haven't changed it. I was looking at changing it, and I actually have a very expensive phone plan. It's got like 1,500 any, anytime minutes, what I, I don't use. Um, I'm not on a contract. I can just get a new phone anytime I want, but I stick with this one. And when I, this was new, this was about, I think it was 600 bucks. You know, it's a while ago. It's old Palm. Palm, Palm is like antiquated technology. But I'm going to say this: what I did was I picked up another reconditioned phone off of eBay last year, so I have an extra battery. The one thing I like about these old phones is you could take the battery out. So if you're paranoid about your location or something like that, you can pull the battery out. But this has five and a half hours talk time, I believe it is. And if you have two batteries, you got 11 hours talk time. Pretty good. But I got this reconditioned off of eBay. I don't even use this one. I use my old beat up one. You can see it's beat up. Um, but And I can actually just get a new phone anytime I want. But I don't. There's a few reasons this thing has some features. And I want to point this out. I got this reconditioned. And it was I forgot what it was. But it was about the same price as getting the car charger. That's how cheap it was. I got it on eBay on a bid. I actually got kind of lucky. But it came with a car charger, an extra wall unit, and the phone itself with the battery all reconditioned. looks like a brand new phone. And it's very easy to actually um, take the Palm software, put it on your computer, and put everything on this phone and switch it over. I don't even bother, but even though this one's beat up and you can see the P is missing, I just use this damn thing. But I'm going to say there's one feature I like. You see... Uh, you can set this button on the side for anything. You can set it for a camcoder or whatever the hell you want. But the way I have it set is, when I click it on, you see that yellow light that comes on? That's recording. So a lot of times if I was in a meeting, I was like, crap, you know, I can't take all these damn notes. Boom, record it. Now, you see it goes into call record, right? So you can play it back. But this call record, another thing I like about it, and you can easily delete the messages. This doesn't come with the phone, but it's a $10 application. That's the one thing about these palms. Even though this is old Swiss Army stuff, Swiss Army knife type stuff. You see, I'm saying this, I'm making this recommendation for people that don't have a smartphone. You know, and also, just the battery life on this thing alone. A lot of these cheap phones you get for free when you sign up, um, they're about, they, the batteries don't last. You know, they don't last. A couple hours. This has like a five and a five or five and a half hour talk time. That's really double most phones. Some of them are like, a lot of the better smartphones are about six hours, but most people don't get smartphones. Most of, A lot of people don't. This is a cheap way to get it. And um, I'm keeping, I'm going to tell you though, there's one feature on it though I really like, and this is why I won't change it. You see, the call record feature is pretty cool. You could set that up on other phones, I think. It also has, um, you can go in here and... You got the card reader, so you can actually make this like a USB device. But there's another thing you can do, and this is really what I like about it, USB modem. Now, this thing is not connected to a laptop, but what you do is when you plug this into a laptop and you put this USB modem on there, you can actually, when you put on this enable modem mode, right, you click that on, you go in, you set it up on your laptop with the software, it's $10, $10 of software, and you put in no password, uh, you put in no username, and the phone number, no password, but the phone number you dial is pound 777, and you're on the internet, you're unlimited. I used to use this at the gym quite a bit, because it has unlimited access on a phone, but you can actually tether it to your laptop, and you know how many times that's been handy for me, where... I mean, you could pay for this. I mean, I already pay for it. I actually have an expensive phone plan, but it's not the tethered service. But that's a way to get around it. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. So what I have to say about that is, like, that's the one reason I keep it. Because in an emergency, I actually have um, self. I actually have internet service through my cell phone. That's why I like it. Even though it's not that fast, it's like a 1 meg DSL. But still, it's about, if you're on a dial-up or something as an emergency, it's about 20 times, 50 times faster than a dial-up or something like that. It's way faster than a dial-up. I think it's 20 times faster than a dial-up. But, um, you know, it's still not, it's slow. It's a slow DSL connection, but still, it works. It works. 
So, and these actually, these old phones have quite a bit of different uh, features in them. They're not too bad, but you can get them used. And I've been using this phone. I've had this phone probably for, I don't know, it was brand new when it came out. I think I paid like 600 bucks or something. Five. I think they were listed for 700 I don't know what I paid, but it was a lot. It was a lot. I just kept it, and I can get a free phone anytime I want, but I keep this because it's got certain features on it that I like. And one is the tethering to the um, laptop. But like I said, you can pick up these phones really cheap on eBay in good condition from a reputable dealer. They look like they're brand new. They'll come with a car charger and a wall charger and everything, and it's got a battery in it that's good for like five, five and a half hours talk time which is better than most standard phones and uh, replace your other phone then if you get a couple applications for it like the three applications on here that I like the most is this USB modem you can see you have to put enable modem mode and uh, the other ones I like are um, excuse me it's uh, it's call record and um, card reader and there's other apps on it. This thing is basically like the, uh, you know, the, what do you call it? The Swiss Army knife of phones. It does pretty much everything you want it to. So it's a great phone, actually, to tell you the truth. It's a great phone. So, you know, if you can pick these up dirt cheap on eBay, either in reconditioned, excellent condition from a reputable dealer, and if you don't want to buy, and it's cheaper than buying, um, you know, just a crappy phone that's normal, you know? You got twice the talk time as most of the standard phones, and you got these other applications. And you know, like I said, a lot of times when if I was in a car, and um, you know, people were calling me about all the stuff that was going on with these, I don't know, there's all kinds of stuff that was going on. Um, I I couldn't just write it down. I love this call record stuff because they'd be telling me this, they telling that, and all this kind of crap's going on. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I'm like, I just can't keep track of all that shit. This call record is fantastic. And then you can take down all the notes later on and get accurate information because otherwise you'll forget. So it's got some great features in it, really.